Hello, wonderful students of YouTube. Today, we are going to be looking at how to write an advantages and disadvantages essay introduction. I'm going to take you step by step through the writing process. And by the end of this lesson, we are going to have an introduction, which would be fit for a band nine essay. So this would be the question you see in your exam. It says you should spend about 40 minutes on the task. We're writing about the following topic. In the past, a lot of people worked for small businesses, while more people now work for large businesses. What are the advantages and disadvantages of working for large businesses? Give reasons for your answer, include any relevant examples from your own knowledge or experience, and write at least 250 words. Let's get rid of all the extra stuff, and now we can focus on the important question here. When we analyze this question, it's really important to notice what question type it is. And something in this question that we can see underlined here, it says, what are the advantages and disadvantages? It's really important that we notice that this is plural. This means in your exam, you have to give two advantages and two disadvantages. If you only give one advantage or one disadvantage, you're not gonna get over a band five for your task response. So it's really important to know what the question is asking. And then we can make sure that we follow the correct structure and generate the correct amount of ideas. As I mentioned, you will need two advantages and two disadvantages. The structure for all task two introductions is the same. We start with this paraphrase, and then we write an outline statement. You can think of the outline statement a bit like an index for your essay. This is where you are going to mention the ideas that you will talk about in the rest of the essay. Do not write background statements in your introductions. This is a 250 word IELTS essay. They are a complete waste of your time. You don't need them. You do not get graded for them. And therefore we are not going to write them. We only write the paraphrase and an outline statement. Let's start off looking at the paraphrase. So always when we think about paraphrasing the question statement, we want to think about changing sentence structure first. And after we've changed the sentence structure, then we look for easy synonyms. The paraphrase I wrote for this question is that, although a greater number of individuals these days are employed by big companies, many people in previous times were employed by small companies. To change the sentence structure, you'll notice that we at the moment have two main clauses. So I swapped the main clauses. The first clause I've underlined here in red and the second clause in blue. If we look at the paraphrase, now the blue part is first, the red part is second. Not only did I swap my clauses, but I changed the clauses from active to passive of voice. So here you see I'm talking about people are employed by or were employed by. After changing the sentence structure, I looked for easy synonyms, words that I was sure were direct synonyms of the original words. There's quite a number of very common synonyms that I've used here. I changed while for although, more for a greater number of people, for individuals, now for these days, businesses for companies, a lot of for many, and finally, the past for previous times. In this paraphrase, you can see that not only did we try and change the words, but we changed the sentence structure. This is what you need to do to write strong paraphrases. This is the type of paraphrase you should be expecting to write for a band nine essay. So now we have completed the first part of our introduction. We have a really good paraphrase. Next, we need to look at the outline statement. When we write an outline statement, we have to think about generating ideas.
As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we need two advantages and two disadvantages. Not only do we have to think about what are the advantages and disadvantages, what do they refer to? So here in the question, they say, what are the advantages and disadvantages of working for large businesses? Don't just talk about the topic in general, make sure you answer the specific question. Keep your ideas obvious, simple, and specific. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel. If you keep your ideas simple, you're gonna find that you actually have the vocabulary and the grammar to express them clearly. This is really important because a lot of your vocabulary and grammar marks come about because of accuracy. If you've got obvious and simple ideas, it's going to be easier to explain them because you're going to understand your ideas better. That is not only going to give you a better mark for your task response, but it's also going to make sure that your vocabulary and your grammar are of a higher standard. The ideas I came up with for this, my first advantage was there is better career development in large businesses. And also there's a diverse community. There's lots of different types of people who work in large businesses. However, the disadvantages, there's usually more bureaucracy, red tape. And there's also more competition for the different jobs. Now I've got my four ideas. We need to clearly state them in an outline statement. The outline statement that I've written for this is the two benefits of being employed by big companies are there is a better career development, and these companies have a diverse community of employees. While the drawbacks are that there's a more bureaucracy and greater competition for jobs. When writing an outline statement for this type of essay, you need to clearly say you're talking about multiple advantages and multiple disadvantages. You'll see the expressions that I've used in this outline statement are these which are underlined. So at the beginning, I said the two benefits of, so it's very clear that I'm referring to more than one advantage, and the drawbacks are, again, it's very clear I'm referring to multiple disadvantages. Also, you want to make it clear what the advantages and disadvantages refer to. To do this in this outline statement, I've used a noun phrase here. I've said the two benefits of being employed by big companies are, and then just stated what those benefits are. Now we have outlined our ideas. We have paraphrased the question. We have an introduction that is suitable for a band nine essay. The full introduction can be seen here. I would recommend pausing the video at this point, having a look at the language that I've used and trying to see if there's any words or expressions that you can use in your own essays to help you write better introductions. Hope you found this video useful. If you would like any further help, I conduct one-to-one -one lessons, group lessons, essay corrections, and mock speaking tests. You can find further information about them at my Facebook study group. The address for that is on screen at the moment. You will also find a link to that study group in the description of this video below. You can also email me directly at one to one ielts at gmail.com. Good luck to you all in your studies. Hope you're all having a great week and I'll see you all in the next lesson.